during the Middle Ages, believing that certain women perform witchcraft under the influence of Satan, the church begins to persecute the accused, chastising and torturing them until they reveal the names of other women believed to be witches. This vicious cycle led to the mass hysteria of witch hunting, targeting women based on physical differences and unconventional behaviour, demonstrating a civilization's early misunderstanding of the world and its people. This is Benjamin Christensen's Hexen, which translates into The Witch, also known as Witchcraft Through the Ages, in a re-edited form delivering narration from author William S. Burroughs. Hexen takes the form of a documentary, informing the viewer of the perceptions surrounding witchcraft in the Middle Ages and how those perceptions changed within the present day, at least the present day at the time of filming Hexen. The film is filled with dramatised vignettes, capturing haunting scenes of Black Sabbaths, potion making, possession and even the torture of accused witches, giving Hexen a frightening quality that still manages to unsettle to this day, 100 years later. The film also outlines the ableist and sexist assumptions that led many innocent women to being accused of the crime of witchcraft, as well as how supernatural superstitions, as well as patriarchal notions, have continued to persevere. One significant aspect that gives Hexen its most chilling impressions is the film's use of ambitious special effects, sets designed and decorated with meticulous detail, and its detailed costumes used to craft unsettling scenes of traditional notions of devil worship and black magic. The intention is to craft scenes expected of religious stereotyping, which relates to the film's exploration of misconception, but these visual scenes themselves do hold an effective power, crafting imaginative horrific scenes of baby sacrifices and orgies in the forest that can still disturb viewers to this day. Hexen's primary focus is to explore the misconception of the world in earlier civilizations. It does this by suggesting that that ancient Egyptians believed the sky and its stars were held up high by pillars, and that during the Middle Ages, belief in Satan was so commonplace that many people believed they had been visited by the devil himself. The film establishes very early on that its focus is on the misconception and misunderstanding of behaviours not yet understood. It's easier to brush off a woman's appearance or behaviour as witchcraft in a religiously biased world, when the knowledge of disability and mental health is just not available. This leads into a secondary focus within Hexen. Women were chastised and persecuted as witches if they were old, had physical disabilities, or if they behaved unconventionally, under a religious bias that viewed anything out of the ordinary as impure. It reinforces the timeless adage, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. While the religious authority may believe they are doing the work of God, saving towns from the influence of evil, in actuality they are punishing women for crimes they did not commit. The witches are rounded up for questioning, religious persecution, and even long bouts of torture until they gave the names of other women accused of witchcraft. It goes without saying that the women punished for witchcraft within reality were innocent. Hexen even demonstrates the hypocritical flimsy logic that was used to prove the accused were witches. For example, women were encouraged to cry to prove they were not witches, and yet if the accused was found crying, the religious authority assumes it must be a trick, as if she has rubbed something into her eyes. It is a cruel example of, as they say, being damned if you do and damned if you don't. It is therefore a patriarchal force that punishes the women at the centre of Hexen. Male religious figures travel town to town in search of women living on the fringe, punishing them for their unconventional livelihoods, reinforcing Hexen's exploration of patriarchal influence. Where El Kerry wrote for RogerEbert.com stating that, patriarchal society using oppressive tools to marginalise people is nothing new to the world, and unfair prejudicial treatment of groups based on race, religion, gender or sexual orientation is practised to this very day. It only makes sense that filmmakers around the world often revisit this dark period in human history to warn us of how quickly things can escalate into catastrophic results. Within Hexen, the warning of escalation comes from the fact that women accused of witchcraft were not given opportunity for a redemption in the eyes of authority, but would be killed. Scenes of women confessing to witchcraft and black sabbaths reflect a fear of further torture, to confess to a crime she didn't commit in hopes of mercy. Hexen specifically reflects on how, while understanding of mental
mental health struggles and science improved by 1922, the time of filming Hexen. The chastisement and misunderstanding of women perseveres. The example provided in the film is a grief-stricken widow, reliant on shoplifting things she doesn't need just to feel something again. Hexen demonstrates a surprising power of foresight by examining the past. The film makes the observation that, while belief in witchcraft and magic, as portrayed in the film during earlier scenes, has lessened in more modern times, supernatural superstitions remain. Similar to these supernatural superstitions, so remains the patriarchal chastisement of women in the present day too. In conclusion, Benjamin Christensen's Hexen deserves its place as a horror and documentary filmmaking classic, crafting gothic spectacle from ethereal nightmares, reflective of the real world belief during the Middle Ages of witches and their commitment to the devil. By reflecting on an earlier period's commonly held misconception, Hexen also shines an informative and disturbingly real light onto how patriarchal oppression of women is nothing new, and how such patriarchal influence continues to persevere. Whether the viewer wishes to watch Hexen as a socially conscious dissection of persecution, or as an exploration of supernatural horror, Hexen is bound to chill to the bone. A special thank you to my incredible tier Patreon supporter Gil, and my super tier Patreon supporters Constantin Bombelli and Victoria.